Hi guys, Virginia here and I'm back with a new 12 by 12 process video for confessions of a paper edit cut files. I am using the fishing line, I think it's fishing line, yeah, <laughs> uh, cut file from uh, the shop, the link is in the description box below. But instead of using the actual kind of like fishing line uh, piece at the very top, I just wanted to use these uh, fish that were kind of swimming around the bottom plus the couple of loose fish. So um, originally I thought I was going to use the whole thing but decided not to so this is kind of the basis or my starting point for my layout and um, yeah after Monday's you would have seen Monday's if you have <laughs> uh, seen Monday's layout that I shared after I made that one I thought oh I really want to do some more foiling so uh, that's what kind of kicked off this um, this idea for this layout so um, I've got my photo there it's of Eddie and my niece Eva we were at our local aquarium they were just kind of looking at some fish and um, so obviously got the cut file and I wanted to use this kind of wave uh, stencil which is one of v Vicky Booten's ones I think it's from yeah, it's from her sweet rush collection um, and I was kind of looking through things and I found these stencils and I thought oh this would be perfect for this uh, cut file so um, I just kind of placed my cut file on my photos on the layout and just penciled where I wanted this kind of blue wash of ink on my page and I'm just working my way through doing that I'm just using some unity 12 by 12 white cardstock it's nice and thick um, it's a product I purchased here in New Zealand um, so I've just come in with some distress oxide and prize ribbon and just kind of smeared it on some plastic packaging watered it down a little bit and just kind of smeared it on my background and it's kind of semi-dried, so I'm coming in with, um, I, th I think it's Salty Ocean uh, Distress Oxide, just a lighter shade of blue, and just kind of uh, using a paintbrush and some water to kind of add that. And now I'm coming in with some tumbled glass, which is a really nice light blue, just to kind of add a bit of depth and a bit of uh, variation in the tones of blue that's on my background, and also splattering as well. Okay, so just clean up my mat a little bit. I'm using the Vicky Booten's Color Study Collection for this. I don't use a lot of the um, embellishments. By the time I've finished with the cut file and I've done my background, it's really done the work for me. So embellishing really isn't required. Um, this is a great thing about cut files. You can pretty much just use pet and paper <laughs> and bits and pieces and create an amazing layout. Um, yeah okay so I just splattered some white Liquitex acrylic ink on my background and that's just kind of blooming into that ink it's very nice um, it is in different shades again to that blue I set that aside to dry and now I've come back and I'm just going to smear some of this um, Thermoweb uh, Transfer Deco um, paste through the little uh, wave stencil. I'm not being really perfect or particular um, with how I'm applying it. Um, I just want a few of those kind of waves um, curling around on that blue ink. And this stuff is great. It does. You can either apply it through, with heat through like a laminate or a foiling machine or you can uh, just leave it to dry and it goes tacky and just push the foil onto it and it'll stick so um, yeah I'm a little bit lazy and didn't want to get a laminate so I went for the <laughs> the latter um, and it works fine it's great okay so I'm just going to let that um, that uh, transfer gel dry and work on backing my cut file um, I decided to go with this Vicky Boone collection because it was really nice and bright and colourful and I wanted these fish to look really super tropical. Um, so yeah, so I'm just going to work my way through backing all of uh, those fish with some really bright colours from the 6x8 paper pad. Okay, so they're all backed and my transfer gel is dry it's all nice and well it's dry to the point where it's tacky and I've just got this scrap bit of uh, gold foil it's a really large sheet I've got a bit of tissue um, uh, like paper towel in my hand that I'm just using to kind of um, smooth that foil onto it if I just use my finger it kind of wants to stick to the surface of that foil so having something soft in between it allows you to kind of roll around 
uh, that foil or on top of that foil to help it stick and it looks great <laughs> I love it <laughs> look at how pretty <laughs> definitely a little bit obsessed with that at the moment okay so in come my fish there's my photo really happy with that I'm going to trim down my photo I printed on a Canon selfie um, I use an app called photo grid it's free and it means that I can kind of have like grids of little smaller photos or I can adjust the size of my photos I can cut them I can have them uh, cut out in shapes like hearts or circles um yeah it's a fun it's a great great app and then I just send it through the app to my selfie printer and it prints them out okay a couple layers of pattern paper behind my photo just a blue and a purple I don't want any bright colors I want it to kind of that border to sit really nicely with that blue background and I'm going to go ahead and pop these little fish up on some adhesive foam so only one side has adhesive on it the rest is um, adhesive free <laughs> um, and I only apply it to one side just predominantly so that I don't have to try to peel all the little bits off um, and um, yeah it means I can kind of apply the foam and then just move around my cut file without it sticking to my background okay so on to embellishing like I said not a lot of the stuff in this um, collection really applies uh, to this uh, cut file so I'm just kind of having a quick look through there was a little label that I will stick it on that 6x12 sticker sheet that I liked I just cut a bit off and popped it on top of my photo I've come across some little gold um, foil sticker circles which I thought would be cool they could be bubbles <laughs> for the fish so just sprinkling a few of them around the page and then just looking through the 6x12 sticker sheet I found this um, uh, title that said be colorful and I thought that that was really fitting with all the colorful fish so I went with that a few little hearts I'm gonna add to my page nothing too much little puffy hearts um, yeah I did contemplate having a look through the die cuts and kind of decided there wasn't really anything on there that would would really relate to this so a quick little th look through the sticker sheets because they have small I only found one little word sticker on there that I liked so I just um, kind of give up on the idea of adding any more it really doesn't need it and just work my way around adhering everything onto my background a little bit of glue behind my little circles puffy stickers and that's it for my layout super simple easy to put together I love it <laughs> you'll be seeing more of this foiling in the future uh, I hope you enjoyed and until next time bye guys